In an interferometer, a laser beam is split into two beams. Mirrors reflect the beams so they meet again at the starting point. If now the distance to each mirror is exactly the same, no light will be seen by the detector. The waves of one beam extinguish those of the other beam. This is called interference. A passing gravitational wave distorts space, making one arm slightly shorter and the other arm a little longer. The light waves do not cancel each other anymore, and we now measure a tiny signal in the detector. Now we add an extra mirror in both beams. In this configuration, the beams bounce hundreds of times back and forth between two mirrors, before returning to the beam splitter. The intensity of the light in these so-called fabri perot cavities increases substantially. The cavities boost the interference effect a few hundred times. The sensitivity is further increased with two additional mirrors which recycle the outgoing light into the cavities. And with a so-called mode cleaner, which removes disturbing noise from the laser beam. The light power in the cavities is increased to hundreds of kilowatts. Even more complex optics and electronics are required in order to keep the mirrors properly aligned and in position. Ground vibrations at most about 100 nanometers are nevertheless millions of times greater than the vibration caused by a gravitational wave. Therefore all components are mounted on horizontal and vertical vibration attenuators, the best in the world. While the ground is trembling, the mirrors and beams feel nothing of it, thanks to the super attenuators. Also, air presents a problem. It gives rise to unwanted vibrations, such as due to sound. Four so-called cryogenic traps provide an ultra-high vacuum quality. We can pick up hundreds of times more signal of a gravitational wave by extending the fabri perot cavities to 3 kilometers. This and much more is needed to realize an interferometer for detection of gravitational waves.